Welcome to the Enlightenment Academy, where the journey of discovering your inner magic begins. In a world filled with endless possibilities, we invite you to explore the depths of your being and unlock the mysteries of your true potential. Through insightful teachings, transformative practices, and enlightening conversations, we empower you to access the brilliance that resides within you. Join us as we embark on a path of self-discovery, empowerment, and spiritual awakening. Are you ready to tap into the infinite wellspring of magic within you? Here is your host, Venus Castleberg. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Welcome forward. So happy to have you here now and in the future. Uh, today, I wanted to talk about mindful living for a modern soul. So a little bit about kind of, well, I guess I'll share a little bit about like how I even got on this path, <laughs> on this adventure called life. Um, uh, many of you know, I partied like a rock star in my 20s, absolutely. And But when I turned 30, I quit everything cold turkey, walked away from all my friends because I knew something else was possible. And so I started, a couple years before that, I studied, started, started studying massage. So I kind of knew there was another avenue for me. But then this like, like really kind of hard shift and change from all my friends, the lifestyle, even like what I was eating. I went from eating whatever I wanted to being, I went vegan for a little while and then ended up vegetarian, um, just kind of maybe for ease. I was vegetarian for 10 years um, and then just, just realized that my body actually requires meat. So I'm not saying that anybody should be vegan, vegetarian, or a carnivore. You have to figure out what works best for your body. But I knew something else was available and that I wanted a different life than what I had. And so I went searching and I studied 25 different modalities. I, um, I did it all. I studied with a shaman, meditated for two hours a day. Like, and there's always been this constant seeking of something else, some other awareness, something else is possible, more ease. That's been a big one for me. Um, just seeing how much so many of us struggle in the world and really uh, knowing instinctively somewhere there's got to be an easier way. And it's, you know, it's hard because sometimes we're caught up in this busy life, this life of, you know, there's one fire after another to put out. It happens all the time. <laughs> you know, you wake up in the morning and you're like, and you step in dog vomit. And <laughs> then you, <laughs> uh, you know, fast forward, you know, then somebody rear ends you. Like, life happens, right? A lot of us are very busy with work and kind of being in business. which business can also, also be uh, described as busyness, depending on how you're doing it. So if you're creating from a space of what can I create, what's fun for me, what inspires me, right? Then it doesn't feel like work or busyness. <laughs> and um, thank you, Kimberly. Nice to see you. Welcome. <laughs> She's watching me on big TV. <laughs> Hi, Sean. Welcome. Um, so like that busyness or just that work or even the constant chasing of money because we need money to pay our bills and right. But there's like notice even just the energy as I start talking about this sort of stuff, like there's a sense of lack. Hi, Bob. Welcome. There's a sense of something's missing and that you have to then 
like put something in place to, to get what's missing. So a lot of us work and work really long hours and work, you know, a nine to five job. And I don't do that anymore. Actually, nine to five. I've done that very rarely in my life <laughs> because I just knew instinctively there's got to be an easier way. <laughs> but that chasing of money to pay the bills, right? Then you get caught up in the busyness, right? Rather than the creation or what can I create or what would I like to create or what's fun for me to create, right? But we often don't ask that because we get into what's called a need, a need for something. And that need has us chasing that need instead of being present in the moment and asking questions. That's essentially what mindfulness is. Uh, mindfulness is just being present in the moment with whatever is and whatever isn't. It's just acknowledging, okay, right now I'm in my head or right now I'm overthinking things or I'm chasing something that I think I need or I'm doing all this stuff because I said I'd do it or maybe you're somebody who has children and you're, oh, I had this child so now I have to take care of this child. I'm not saying you don't. <laughs> this is also true for pet parents because <laughs> I have children, I have pets as well. Um, so for you to just be like, it's like, okay, here's the next thing I have to handle because it's, you know, pulling on me and it has my attention. Or you're at the office and you're like, oh, I have this deadline for this thing that I'm supposed to get done. So I'm going to start something and I'm just going to invite you all because I know I triggered some of you because I can feel it. <laughs> I'm going to invite you all to just relax. Relax. Lower your walls and barriers, even the ones you don't know about. And don't worry, you can pick them back up again if you want to. But just try this on for a second. Relax. Take a breath. Lower the walls and barriers even more. Expand your awareness out. And what are you aware of? What can you perceive? What whispers have been trying to get through to you, but because you've been so caught up in the busyness or the action steps that you've forgotten the being steps of just being and relaxing and allowing, allowing the universe to guide you, allowing the universe to whisper to you. I have many things on my, I guess, um, <laughs> on my list. Uh, do I have a list? I might have a list, but um, of things that I'd like to accomplish. However, I tend to, for the most part, of course, there's times like today, I had this one o'clock meeting with you, right? So there are things that we have scheduled, but then, and I think I even talked about this a little bit from my car the other day, like where you have a plan and then that plan doesn't work out. But if I had also been following the whispers that day and listening, I would have pulled over a half hour earlier, but I was convinced, <laughs> I made a plan and I made a conclusion that I could make it to the next town. And then I hit the accident and the rest is history. <laughs> but if I had trusted that inner wisdom, that whisper that was saying, hey, pull over here. Yes, you're early for your show, but you can work on something else, blah, blah, right? What might have been different? <laughs> So nowadays, I have some things on my calendar, some things that I, you know, like mostly appointments are on my calendar, things that I have to do. But I've 
tended to, I used to have everything on my calendar, everything I wanted to accomplish and everything I wanted to do and right. But notice how like little space there is in that moment instead of just being like, okay, practicing mindfulness, being present in the moment, and then being like, what requires my attention now? What requires my attention today? You know, there's people out there that have multiple, I have two businesses that I run with my partner, and there are other people out there that have 10 or more, right? So how do they do that? I once heard Gary Douglas talk about this. He literally wakes up every morning and asks who or what requires my attention today. So what could you ask? What space could you be? How could you be in that moment and be like, who or what requires my attention today? And it might be something random, like you think to reach out to your grandmother, you know? And she was like, I don't know, going through a tough time or, you know, like is super grateful that you reached out to her because she needed to hear from somebody like that, right? But if that you're willing to be in that space of presence and question, that is a great practice in mindfulness. There's lots of different ways that you can do mindfulness. You obviously, you know, one of the obvious ones is meditation, but meditation and mindfulness are not the same thing. So you can use meditation to get you present in the moment. But I find like mindfulness is really easy for me, like when I'm cooking in the kitchen cooking, sometimes when I'm cleaning too, right? Like you tend to be in this zone where you're not thinking about much, but you're present in the moment with what you're doing. And sometimes in that space, you get downloads, you get information, right? So um, I don't, I don't want to forget this because I just remembered mindfulness. That was a present. There you go. Here it is in action. <laughs> Being mindful. Right. If any of you would you like to call in, we have a phone number for you. I'd love to hear from you. We can have a chat. You can ask some questions. You can ask for coaching, facilitation. I'm open to any of it while we're here on this call. So feel free to call in. You can also type in messages um, in the chat and I will see them. And the phone number is 202-570-7057, and it's in the um, chat below as well. So there you go, there it was in action. <laughs> uh, art, I do find art to be another place where I it's very mindful because I'm in the moment. Like when you're thinking, like maybe sometimes people do do art from like I'm trying to copy somebody else or I'm trying to like make it look a certain way. So they may be in the past and they may be in the future. Love mindful activity, meditation while I'm cooking. Yep, absolutely. In that million dollar kitchen. <laughs> I got a poker every once in a while. Thank you for sharing, Kim. Um, so... My, like, art, right? I had to, like, this is a true story. So I was such a perfectionist, which, by the way, if you're trying to get something perfect, you're basing it on either the past or the future, but you're not in the present moment. So I specifically took on more abstract art and art that I could, like, be like free flow with it and just kind of let it come out as it came out because I needed to be present with my art instead of, hello, Tobias, welcome. Um, sure, go ahead, hit me. <laughs> he says he has a question. So. Um, so I had to be present in the moment to do more abstract art. Also a mindfulness practice. Walking in the woods, very much of a mindfulness practice, often. Now I'm not saying always, because sometimes people can be walking and thinking about the future or thinking about the past. 
and or they can be, um, you know, you could be cooking and thinking about the past or the future. So it does take a little bit of conscious choice sometimes, especially if you are finding that you're a little in your head a lot. I didn't mean to do the crazy symbol, but there you go. <laughs> we do kind of overthink things, right? And overanalyze and try to figure, figure it out and, and all that stuff. So if you're practicing mindfulness, then you can be present and enjoy it. Enjoy the moment. Um, cool. So Kimberly says, we never eat the same thing twice in reality. It's similar dishes, but never the same because I don't use recipes, just what I feel. Oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Um, but even if you did follow a recipe, like notice how it tastes a little different every time. Like I, I mean, kudos to McDonald's, not because I go to McDonald's or I'm an advocate for McDonald's, but kudos to McDonald's that they've actually found a way to like duplicate <laughs> like their food all across the world. Um, because I'll make the same recipe and then it will taste completely different based on, you know, just a, just a small change. <laughs> like, so yeah, um, that's great. Cool. So uh, we talked about ways um, exercise can also be a way, uh, body scanning meditation, where you just scan your body. So I brought this up because a lot of people talk about, well, I work too much and I, so I can't find the space and the time to meditate. Okay, cool. That's fine. I totally get that. But you can still practice mindfulness at your desk. Even if you just take a moment and everybody go ahead and do this right now. Go ahead and take a moment and just perceive your hands on your thighs and your thighs in your hands. You just became present to your body and to this present moment. That's mindfulness. That's all it takes. You can break breath work. You can just breathe. Focus on your breath. Breathe in. Exhale out. And being present in the moment allows you to be open to the magic and the miracles of the moment. So like I said, I don't really plan my days that much because I really do give myself space to go follow the energy and be like, oh, what would I like to do today? Or what would come up today? Yesterday was a great example. My um, fiance and I went shopping for engagement rings and he asked me if I wanted to shop in this specific area. And I said, no, because I had a point of view about it. <laughs> I wanted to shop somewhere else. <laughs> and then we get like, uh, not halfway there, but we start getting there. And he's like, oh, did you bring your ring? Because he actually requires the engagement ring to get the wedding bands so they match up. Just in case you didn't know that. And I was like, oh, no. And so I wasn't present and I wasn't asking questions. And then when I got present and started asking questions and we got home and got my ring, we went to the area that he was aware of from the beginning. And we went right in. I, I literally don't think we sat in front of this guy with rings for longer than 15 minutes. I'm serious. Like it was that quick. I was like, oh, there it is. That's it. Okay, let's go. <laughs> and it was just like one thing after another like that because we were in the stream, we were in the flow, we were being present. We weren't in conclusion and we were asking questions. So, um, Laura says, I've really been working on being mindful recently. So this is a timely concept for you. Yeah, awesome, right? <laughs> cool. So, um, so yeah, just allowing yourself to be present and 
Thank you, Sean. That's, I appreciate that. Um, so being present in the moment and like just, right? Like even think about this. And, and some of you, you can have this too. Um, maybe we can even have this for, for somebody who's trying to get my attention right now. Like when you're actually thinking about your question or you're trying to get somebody's attention and you're not listening to what they're saying, you're actually not being present and you're not being mindful. And a lot of us actually do that. Like we're like, somebody's talking to us and we'll actually start like, um, we'll actually start uh, like, like planning what we want to ask them or what we want to say based and we're not even listening to what they're talking about. And we've all done it, right? I've done this too. So don't like, I'm not ascended or you know, like I'm not, <laughs> um, I'm not, I'm still human. Right. But like, how much do we try to like get our questions answered or get attention put on us? And we're missing the things that are being said to us that might actually contribute to what we're asking about anyway right? Because we're, but we're not willing to be present because we're in our heads planning what our question is or planning what our response is or planning what our, you know, right? <clears throat> Kimberly guilty. Yep. Yeah, all of us. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, like, but then let's lower those walls and barriers. Let's lower the plan let's lower the how we're going to rebuttal how we're going to respond or you know what we think we need to project on somebody a point of view that we need to project on somebody instead just be in the moment and what can we receive from this moment everybody just inhale in exhale out inhale in Exhale out and let the body relax. Let yourself receive. What can you receive in this moment? I am very fortunate I get to um, be here with all of you. And I live on a nature preserve. And my nature preserve is right out my back door. So I have nature right there. But nature is such a gift for me, even being out hiking or being out like, for some reason, my mind just goes blank. And that's mindfulness. That's being present in the moment and seeing what you can receive as if by magic from the present moment. Well, anyway, just as we're even talking about it, I'm like, oh, I'm so grateful for all of you. <laughs> and then some of the benefits of mindfulness is it encourages you to slow down. It encourages you to enjoy your food. How often are we like shoveling food into our mouths because it's like we have to get it done because we don't have that much time instead of slow down and enjoy it. Connect with your body. <laughs> right? me. <laughs> awesome, Sean. I actually think that's exactly what I'm talking about. So that's really cute. She says, this may not have anything to do with what you're talking about, but I can be brushing my teeth in the morning and get messages. Crazy? Question mark. No, absolutely not crazy. A lot of people get messages in the shower, or brushing your teeth. But that's, again, that's the beauty of mindfulness and presence. When you're in the moment, you do open the channel to receiving more messages because you're not 10 steps in the future or 10 steps in the, in the past. You're right here right now, brushing your teeth and suddenly you get a download or you get a download in the shower, right? Um, there's a great practice in access consciousness called the access bars. And I'm teaching an Access Bars class in St. Augustine, Florida in October. So if you're close to St. Augustine, Florida, I highly recommend this Access Conscious Bars class. <laughs> I 
I don't think that that's exactly what this show's about, Tobias, but thank you for the offer. Not right now. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's, that's, <laughs> I love it. This is actually like, it. it's true to form, right? This is true, like, I have to somehow like convince you that I what I have to say or what I have to do is more important and like not being present with what we're talking about. So it's just a great example. So, um, and right. <laughs> no, thank you, Tobias. I appreciate it, but no, thank you. Okay. So um, how to practice. You can like just practice while you're in a conversation, lowering your walls and barriers and just be present and focus on the words listen to what they're talking about and let go of any internal dialogue. Awesome. Okay, well, we'll talk a little bit more about that when we come back and then of course have our mindfulness and visualization and meditation after this short break. I look forward to seeing you on the other side. <laughs> Times TV. Imagine becoming a super influencer. Reinvent yourself, invest in your brand, and then manifest your success with a robust, spheric approach. Ohm Times Media and Broadcasting offers a unique and multifaceted way to become the spiritual and conscious influencer you deserve to be by putting your message across our powerful platform with its proven record of integrity and excellence. Through our produced shows, Own Times offers the opportunity to become a social media TV personality, a radio show host, an Own Times magazine columnist, and a syndicated podcaster, all in one shot. By live streaming your show on Ohm Times TV and broadcasting it across the extensive Ohm Times radio and TV networks, you become more than a host. You become an ambassador and a force for positive change. Ohm Times, open yourself to the possibilities. If I could be you, and you could be me for just one hour. If we could find a way to get inside each other's minds. Walk a mile in my shoes. Walk, Walk a, a mile, mile in my shoes. shoes. Well, before you abuse, criticize, and accuse. Walk, Walk a mile in my shoes. Welcome forward. I am so grateful. That was really funny, actually. I think that that was really great because how do you handle distractions? Like when you're trying to be mindful and you got all these distractions going on, it's just, you can acknowledge them. Like I, I specifically like to acknowledge people in the chat because I'm super grateful that you're here and that you're, um, that you're, you know, commenting and engaged and listening. I'm always grateful for that. And at the same time, every once in a while, we'll get somebody in who wants to do their own thing or, um, Yep, me too, Astra, every time. Hi, Ron. Hi, Astra, nice to have you. Um, yeah, so being, but like acknowledging that, but you can always come back to the present moment, right? And can you be present with people, acknowledge what's going on in their world, not disempower them, not make them wrong, but just be like, okay, and I'm coming back to this moment with you that like just sometimes it's just that pause, take a breath, pause, let yourself relax, right? Get present to your hands. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. That's beautiful, Astra. It's nice to be here. I'm grateful for everything this moment is bringing. Absolutely. I'm grateful to be here with you. How did I get so lucky? Um, yeah, like, think about this way, too. Like, what about, like, the times, I don't know how many of you, you can even comment or give me a thumbs up or a smiley face. If you've been in a house that had a tin roof, 
and that when it rained, it was just so loud. But that, like, that rain brought you to that moment. You're like, wow, listen to that. Listen to lightning and thunder. Listen to that rain on the tin roof. It's things like that that you can bring, um, bring you present and bring you in the mindfulness and the beauty of the moment. Music, too. I love to sing. Um, I don't think I'll be breaking out in song on this show anytime soon, but maybe. <laughs> Anything's possible. <laughs> um, but I love to sing in my kitchen and cook and clean, and I'm singing at the top of my lungs, and it's always, it's just fun, right? But I'm in that moment. There's nowhere else to be. You know, what if we stopped believing like there was somewhere else we needed to be right now and we could just be here right now? Sean says, my bedroom, that's the beauty within the chaos for me. That's awesome. Yeah, like there is chaos. Life is still going to happen, but you can be totally present in the moment and still enjoy it and just be like, okay, life is happening right now. It's not always going to be puppies, rainbows, and unicorns as much as I wish it was, <laughs> me personally, um, at the same time, you know, we can still be present and deal with whatever's going on in the moment, even if it's not fun or comfortable. Um, there's just still something beautiful about just being with it instead of feeling like you have to fix it or change it or make something out of it. You don't. You can literally just be with it, right? What if the next time a friend called you and asked you for help or asked you for something that you actually were just willing to be there for them and listen to them, but not have to fix it and not have to go into your, again, your, your head where you're planning what you're going to say so that you can somehow help them. Maybe they just need you to listen. Most people that I actually work with just love to be heard. <laughs> they just want to be heard and they don't, I don't need to do anything necessarily to help them change it. Sometimes just them talking it out helps them shift it. You've all had that like, oh, if I just, I just talked that out and I figured it out on my own. Yep. Great job. <laughs> so, um, awesome. Yeah. And then, you know, that's, it's kind of easy to maybe do that for, uh, for people that you're like, who are asking you for help, but also what about self-compassion, right? Yep. Like actually being compassionate with yourself when you have things like emotions coming up or feelings coming up or tough times right? Even struggles. If you could just be with them and then maybe ask a question. What questions can I ask here to maybe change this? But just be with it and let the energy show you and not necessarily like be like, oh, I have to go do this or I have to do this. God's honest truth, 25 modalities, hundreds of thousands of dollars that I've spent on personal development. <laughs> Lots of things I studied, thinking somehow I was going to be, you know, contributing, doing those modalities for other people. I did some of them for other people. I still do. That's not that I don't. But God's honest truth, probably for the first 12 years, 12 years and 20 modalities, <laughs> um, it was always about fixing me was thinking that I was broken, something was wrong with me. And then to realize nine years ago that nothing's wrong with me, I don't need to be fixed, and neither does anybody else. So now I look at what contribution can I be, but not from somebody's broken or I'm broken, but from what contribution can I be? It's completely different then. So you don't need to be fixed. Even when you're sad or you're having a bad day, there's nothing wrong. It's just the wheel of uh, the wheel of fortune in the tarot. It's just spinning, 
right? The cycles of life. And then when you have a down day, I bet you you're going to have a, a great day very shortly because they, everything is cyclical. So just that's another way of practicing mindfulness is just being in the present moment with yourself, with whatever's coming up, not judging it, not making it wrong, and just being like, okay, this is what's going on with my body today. Okay. And just be present. And I wonder how much of that presence is actually what shifts things. Anyway, super grateful for you guys. We're going to go ahead and dive into a guided visualization right now that I like to call the Calm Oasis. And find a comfortable seat if you're not already. If you're driving, don't drive and close your eyes. <laughs> That's not practicing mindfulness, just in case you didn't know. Mindfulness is to be present with the fact that you're driving right now and maybe listen to the replay later. And yes, I crack myself up. Hopefully some of you laugh too. <laughs> if not, that's okay. I, I'm happy just cracking myself up anyway. <laughs> so breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> maybe yeah you could be just don't close your eyes and drive that's all I'm saying you can still be meditating and driving if you want <laughs> well but I guess it, yes it's your life and it's your choice so you can do whatever you want <laughs> but <clears throat> you can sit down you can also lay down but just find a comfortable position for you it's so um easy to get into this like uptight forcing energy even when we're like trying to meditate and relax and breathe in and exhale out and just let yourself let go of any tension you might be feeling Tail, just let it go. Breathe in, exhale out. Breathe in, exhale out. And just imagine yourself walking through a serene forest. You see the sunlight filtering through the trees, gently through the leaves with the pine boughs. Creating a pattern of shadow on the path before you. Exhale out. You hear the birds chirping and feel the cool, fresh air <clears throat> on your skin. As you're walking, you come across a peaceful, crystal clear lake. You sit by the water's edge, feeling fully supported by the earth beneath you. Breathe in, exhale out, 
and relax. With each breath, imagine that you're breathing in the calming energy of the lake and exhaling any stress or worries. Breathe in. Exhale out. Visualize the water reflecting your calm, peaceful self. Reminding you that serenity is always available to you. Breathe in. Exhale out. Relax. Maybe you can even see yourself or imagine or feel yourself taking, taking off your shoes and your socks and just allowing your feet to touch this cool, calm, beautiful water. Allowing yourself to come to this present moment. And as you're enjoying this beautiful, serene place, you have a spirit guide that comes up and sits beside you. And they too put their feet or their paws in the water next to you. And maybe they begin to talk to you, or maybe you just get this sense, this feeling, this knowing. Words are not necessary because they can speak to you telepathically. Just allow yourself to relax and receive. Maybe you just perceive this immense love for you and gratitude for who you are. Or maybe they have something deeper they would like you to know. Maybe something that you've been asking about or wondering about. And 
And again, it doesn't have to come in words. It can just come in this knowing. What do you know? What have you perhaps already known? And they are just confirming it now. And then you find yourself just sitting there with them. Maybe you're having a dialogue back and forth, or maybe you're just enjoying the beauty of this place. The smells in the air, of the water, the clean, crisp air of the water. Maybe the trees, the flowers. And then I'd like to invite you to become aware of other realities and other dimensions that are existing here with you right now as well. Just relax and be present. But I'd like you to invite you to see as you tap into this alternate reality, this energy does it have a different smell or a different feel or a different vibe Just observe it. Allow yourself to be present with it. Again, mindful. Of how it's showing up for you right now. Breathe in. Exhale out. Breathe in, exhale out. What do you notice? How do you feel? Maybe your spirit guide has something they would like to show you. And as you observe what it is that they are showing you, maybe you, maybe it brings up a question for them. Allow that awareness to come to you with ease. What do 
What do you see? What do you feel? What do you smell? What do you hear? What do you know? Breathe in, exhale out, breathe in, exhale out. Thanking your spirit guide for coming, for being here with you today. Allow yourself to begin to wander back up the path. And coming back, coming forward to this present moment. Maybe rubbing your hands on your thighs or your thighs, your hands together sometimes that helps as well. And gently and slowly opening your eyes. Mm, wonderful. Thank you um, for that. And those of you who joined me on that journey, that was awesome. Uh, just a gentle reminder that it's more the practice of mindfulness, but not perfection, right? So you're just practicing mindfulness, even if you can only do it a few times every few minutes every day, will help you get more and more in the habit and more and more in that state. Um, meditation is definitely one of those ways, but just so you know, um, you can just be doing it, doing anything in your life. <laughs> so, um, something like that. Tammy, flying to Sean, it's been like that for me. Um, <clears throat> and then I have a very special announcement. I just wanted to leave us a few minutes to talk to you about this. So, we are starting a new show next week. I think that's next week. Yes, it's next week. <laughs> I'm like, uh oh, is it next week? It's next week. So uh, same time, same day. We're still having it at the same time, same day for now. But I did want to let you know that the new show will be called Ascending. And we're going to be talking a lot about um, spiritual awakening, ascending, well, a lot of the same stuff we've also already been doing, but pivoting a little bit more into the conversation about the ascension process and how we can nurture and help ourselves through that because we're all ascending right now. There's this grand awakening happening. And so this ability to feel supported, nurtured and held and in a community of like-minded individuals to help us in that process together. And I really look forward to uh, joining, having you join me on that journey, if it would be fun for you. 
Again, it will be the same time and same day. So really grateful for those of you who have been here for the Enlightenment Academy. And it was just asking for a change. So um, we're changing it just slightly. <laughs> uh, but of course, it will look different, you know, new graphics and new title and all that stuff. But I just wanted to let you know that's still me. <laughs> and that the, that is this show. Um, it's just a, a new rebranding of a show and just yeah again I was following the whispers yeah I was being present and mindful and listening to the whispers and so that's what you get um and it's been a really great kind of easy transition and change uh with kind of what we've already been doing but also like what else is possible for us now and what else can we tap into that maybe we couldn't before in the old energy and now what else is possible now grateful for you all see you next time bye easy is good that's right